Tonight, family and friends came together to celebrate the life of a 31-year-old killed in their own home. Danny Henson was part of Baltimore's LGBTQ community. Henson's brother believes that was likely part of the motive for the murder. WMER 2 News' Ray Strickland was there. He joins us now live from Baltimore Police Headquarters. Ray, do police have any idea on suspects? Well, Kelly, I reached out to police to see if there's any update on this. And right now, there's still no word on who is responsible for Danny Hintz's death. I spoke to Danny's brother about this at the vigil. He's taking it incredibly hard, as you can imagine. But he fought through those emotions to talk to us because he says he doesn't want Danny's case to get overlooked. I'm still emotional, but I'm trying to hold it together. Fighting back the tears, Michael Henson reflects on the agonizing day he found out his sibling was gone. It took me a moment to even get out of bed. Like I, And then... I didn't, I eating, sleeping, I just like, just literally laid there and, and cried. 31 year old Danny Henson was found dead inside their home in the 3100 block of Williston Street around 2.30 Tuesday morning. Michael says Danny was transitioning to become a woman. He believes Danny got into an altercation with someone they knew and possibly had a relationship with. But how did it get to that point that you kill my brother at the vigil loved ones told stories of Danny describing them as a kind funny and outspoken person he was just the embodiment of love they also say this was someone who did not deserve to die like this the murder comes as violence against the transgender community continues to rise the injustice that we're facing in our own backyard is horrendous um, we're dying at an alarming rate Danny's brother Michael says he wants justice he wants the murderer to be held accountable. I want to have faith in the system. I really do, but I mean, otherwise it hasn't proven, it hasn't proven to, to be any good to me. And Michael says another one of his siblings was killed when he was younger, and that case is still unsolved. So he's hoping that doesn't happen here with Danny's case. So if you have any information about what happened, you're encouraged to call police, and of course, you can do so anonymously. Live outside of Baltimore City Police Headquarters, I'm Ray Strickland, WMAR 2 News. Ray, thank you.